Now we'll jump over to our item class and start building our actual item structure. Um, now that we have an image asset set up, we can actually provide a reference to that. So I'm going to say textures, uh, actually texture source. Um, this will be public image asset as string. And that is going to be a reference to the name of our image asset in the image assets list that we created. And we called that items. And that links us directly to the items graphic. Um, we will have to provide a source rectangle. Again, we'll have to do this one manually uh, when we call our item because uh, we're not providing this through a map class or uh, uh, through a map file or any other means from the tile <laughs> the map editor. So I'm going to just say public source rectangle or srect as a rectangle. All right, so that provides uh, the image coordinates on our tile set uh, that is linked to this image asset. Uh, next up, we need to create, um, you know, you don't have to do this, but it's nice to have sort of a list of item types. Uh, is it a weapon? Is it a usable item, a special item, a quest item? Uh, something like that, uh, you know, something to identify our items with, and then we can later sort those out or make them go in the proper slots. Say you uh, want to equip an item, but uh, not every item can be equipped on your character as a weapon. Uh, only weapons would be, right? So this provides us with uh, sort of a list of uh, possible item types. So I'm going to say uh, outside of our class structure here, I'm going to say public enum item class and uh, we'll just provide a very basic list here. I'm going to say weapon, uh, usable, and um, oh, I don't know, special. How about that? Something that we can reference later on. And you know, we're creating a very basic item shell here. You probably in a, in a real game, you're going to want to have your items uh, maybe linked to another class of effects, uh, things like that. Uh, also, um, you know, maybe your item increases strength or intelligence or, you know, other stats. Uh, maybe it heals you or I, I don't know, all, all sorts of things. Um, sorry, not, not effects, but uh, stat buffs, things like that. Or maybe it's a weapon that uh, procs fire or something. So, uh, anyway, continuing. Uh, so we're going to say public item as item class. We're going to reference our enumerated uh, item class down below. So that tells us the type of item. And next up, we want our item to have a name. And that will just be a string value. And another thing that's nice uh, is to provide a description. You don't have to do that. Uh, it just adds some fun RPG sort of roleplay value. Um, now, this is very important. Do you want to have stackable items in your game? If so, we want to know if the item is stackable. So we'll say public is stackable as a boolean value and we'll say um, if it is stackable uh, let's track a count of the item uh, instead of adding numerous copies of this item class and all of its structure uh, to our backpack why not just increment a count value and then you don't have all that extra data overhead to process um, probably not going to slow you down too much if you want to you know just store numerous copies of your item class to that uh, backpack but I don't know just you know for the sake of efficiency I like to provide a count so I'm just gonna say public item count as integer and then you can increment that as you pick up new items of the same type if they're stackable uh, or you know decrement that value um, 
so really that's that that's pretty much all for now that we're going to add uh, you may la later add different functions and subs for effects or you know different events that you want your items to perform so let's go ahead and save that class <laughs>